Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we're going to take a third shot at starting a new Let's Play here in a game called Black Guards. This came out uh, very recently. It's been in early access mode since November of 2013, but it was released just uh, last week or the week before or something like that. Uh, so they fixed most of the problems apparently, but it's already crashed on me twice. So I've got it in compatibility mode now, and let's just hope that is enough to keep it running. Because it was not happy running in normal mode. Anywho, um, let me adjust the volume just a bit. Um, maybe 75 instead of 70. I don't know, the voices just seem a little too quiet compared to everything else. Maybe I can adjust it. Uh, let's go to 80 and then um, the effects down and the music down. Uh, let's try that. And let's go. Let's start a game. Basic mode. And we're going to go for a mage with a wonderful wig. Look at that wig. It's beautiful. And of course, he's going to be called Wigman. It's required. Let's go. We might follow our reason, our instinct, or our friends. Sooner or later, all of them deceive us. Trust no one, they say. Especially not yourself. <laughs> okay, so uh, if you've watched any XCOM or anything, then this sort of has the same style of move or use an action. You can see this blue area means we can move here and do an action, and then there's this white area where we can move here but then not do an action. So basically you get two things you can do per turn. You can either use both of those things for movement, or you can use one thing for movement and an action. Either or. Uh, if you do an action from not moving at all, it'll still use your whole turn. Anywho, this is the turn order down here. We have we go first, and there's this wolf. Ugh, wolf. So let's start off, since we're a mage, let's throw some fire at this little bastard. Right-click on him and go throw some fire. Pew, 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 pew! Take that, wolf. You jerk. Now he's going to walk right up to me, and I'm going to punch him with my stick. Yeah! Beat that wolf with my stick. Princess. No more secrets. Eleanor. What's going on? What's happening to me? There's somebody back there. It's alright. Everything's alright. Loading. Prison of Nitha, one day after Eleanor's death. The name. Tell us the name. What name? Lysander? What? To Lysander. hell with you, bastard! You slew Eleanor. I didn't know the wolf did. No, that's not... What happened to me? He must tell us the name. What are you talking about? What name? Tell us what you know, this instant! I don't know anything. What I know? What name? Too bad. You leave me no choice. My friend Muratori will make you talk. Tell us the name. Ah, ah, ah. The name! What name? Ah, I don't know any name. I really don't. Chapter one. Get away. Do we get a cool car? I've always no? known what I want out of life. To sleep the days away under the sun. We do get some drawn-on abs. I just wanted to live. No more, no less. 
but the death of the princess yeah, everyone changed dreams everything. about having drawn on they abs right i murdered her i didn't murder her might be what are you right. talking about maybe it doesn't even matter you come into this you imagine world that as a wolf nobody, wigman and you leave it as a nobody they'll put a rope around my neck and my neck will break nah but one question still haunts me by the nameless one what happened to me well you killed a wolf and now you're in prison I don't That's know why you're happened. here, but I have a feeling you shouldn't stay. What the hell? This guy's how breaking his How did you manage out? to free yourself? You biggins don't know how to lock up an angry show. We have company. Hey! Hey, I'm the jailer. Ah, uh, yes, the ring menu. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. I, I've been through the, some of these tutorial pages twice already because, well, the game crashed on me twice. Uh, anywho, so now we have a dwarf in our party. And uh, you can see he's in our party because there's this like greenish background. And then the enemies are going to have the reddish background. So this is the turn order. It's our dwarf buddy, and then us, and then the enemy. So let's see if we can move our dwarf up a bit. Come on, dwarf man. And if you don't use your whole turn, if you only go to the blue area, but you're not close enough to attack, because our dwarf is a melee guy, so he can't really hurt the guy from here. If we're not going to attack, then we can right-click on him and do wait. And that means he'll get moved to the end of the turn order. You can see uh, now it's my mage's turn, and then it's the enemy's turn, and then it's my dwarf. But that's still the whole first turn, because my dwarf can still do an action. All he's done so far is move. Anywho, it'll be his turn after the uh, jailer moves. So let's go throw some fire at him, you jerk. Fire! Pew, 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 pew! 12 damage. Eat it. Now he's going to run up next to my dwarf, and now since our dwarf has not used his action yet... Now we're gonna beat him with our stick. Well, it's a torch, actually, but yeah, beat him. Whammo! And now, it's the beginning of the next turn, and believe it or not, our dwarf got the last turn in the first, he got, he got to go last in the first turn, and he gets to go first in the second turn because of the way we organize things. Anyway, just punch him. Pew pew! Oh, he missed! All right, well, throw some fire. Actually, throw some, throw some, um, uh, yeah, throw some fire. Pew pew! Oh! This one will be grateful that he doesn't have too much to carry on his way to the realm of the dead. Here are the keys. We got so, some keys. what's this name, eh? The name that Four Eyes was asking you about. You mean Lysander? I call him Four Eyes. Maybe you should just tell him what you know. But I don't know anything. Why don't you tell me uh, why you're here? So why are you here? I was trying to protect your country from the dragon. Fight fire with fire. Or oh, so I thought. What? Dragon? The dragon. The golden one. He whose deceitfulness is going to devour us all because we've become blind to the eternal fight. Ah. And what's your name? W what's your name? I am Norim. Just Norim? No, son of... Just Norim. I thought dwarves were supposed to have a special title and shit. We do get drawn on abs. You even have abs on your back. Look at that. He's got back abs. Let me tell you a secret. Friends, hello. I love Who's secrets, this fucker? But I would be eternally grateful if you could free me as well. I don't know. Let's take our goodies. We got some ducats, we got some silver, and we've got some goodies. Alright, good. Please, open the lock. I'm innocent. As innocent as a man my age can ever be. Uh, you see me wearing a rather ornate necklace there, my friend. What the Why hell? are you wearing that ugly iron collar? Uh, you're right. It doesn't match the shirt, does it? Oh, uh, why are you locked in here, dude? Why are you locked up, then? If only I knew. I'm a mage from Alantha, no less. Obviously, reason enough to brand me a spy and throw me into the dungeon. Indeed. The name's Zerberan. From the Zuberan. house of Florios. Al Anfans can't be trusted. The dragon sent him, I tell ya. What brought you here? What brings an Al Anfan to the country of his enemies? The weather? The landscape? <laughs> the women? Women? Maybe that's why he's in prison. I'll open the lock. We could use some help. Wonderful. Now I only need to get rid of this collar. Oh, maybe we can help him help him with that. All right. Well, he's telling me to save the game, so let's save the game then, shall we? Save. Uh, 
new. I'm gonna call it Please No Crash, Please No. And now let's continue. Let's go to the guard room. You don't talk much, do you? My friends say I talk too much. Seems like those times are over. Let's see if we can find the key for this fashion disaster. Hold it right there! The chandelier! Cut the roll! Cut the roll! Alright. We can see interactive objects in the, in, on the fighting area. You can hover over them with the mouse and you can see them. But if we press V, then we can see all of them at once. Rotate the camera up, make it a little easier to see the chandelier out of the way. There we go. So you can see we can interact with these two tables, and we can interact with the um, rope that holds the chandelier up here. And look at that. The chandelier is right over the two guards. <laughs> um, okay. Well, let's um, let's run Zerberan up to here. And make him wait. Now we're going to use our dwarf dude to cut the rope for the chandelier. Oh, we killed both guards. Nice job. And now let's uh, throw some fire. Fire, fire, fire. Pew, pew, pew. Ah. Oh. He's going to run up to the dwarf, but he didn't actually get to attack. Uh, can you do anything from range? No. No, oh, you can't. Okay. Then uh, why don't you just run up next to him. Yes. Uh, Zerberan gets to go first, so punch him. Like a boss. Blemo. He missed. Dwarf. You get to do it now. Power blow. Get away! Blemo. Six damage. And then let's throw some fire. Should kill him, I think. Maybe. Are we out of points? Oh, shit. We're out of points. Uh, could we do some... Cost eight. We don't have enough. It costs eight. Um, strengthen, weaken. How do we regain ASP points? Huh. That's a, a good question. I don't know. I do not know how to regain ASP points. I thought that would just regenerate on its own. Uh, so, I guess we can just run over, and we'll try to punch him next turn. Alright, you attacked the dwarf, but he didn't die. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna punch him some more. Ugh. And again. And he's down. Alright. So, how do we get back ASP points? The magic points? Mana points? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. We got a whole bunch of loot from this room. That's nice. And now the we get to the door. Our and the one to my iron collar? Excellent. Here I was thinking I'd never be able to cast a spell again. Alright, so we got his collar off. Good. And yeah, let's go ahead and equip our, our guys with some stuff. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not going to walk through that again. Uh, da, 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 da. Don't need a belt on our mage. Let's give the belt to the dwarf. There you go. And uh, put the healing potion in there. Let's go back to the mage. Let's give our mage some armory dues. There you go. Uh, he already has some pants. Let's give him some shoes. Oh, we have gloves. Yeah, give him some gloves. Do we have some shoes? We do. Okay, good. Anything else is useful? A shield, maybe? I guess. I don't think he needs the shield. Does the dwarf have a shield? No. Let's give the shield to the dwarf. We only have one shield. Might as well give it to the dwarf. I'll uh, give you a shirt. Some shoes. And uh, you don't need a bow or anything. You already have a torch. Alright, let's give our second mage another shirt. Some shoes. You already have some pants. Oh, what are these? Body part legs. Uh, pants. Robe. Ah, so he's wearing pants that are a robe, which actually reduce certain types of damage different than regular leather chouses do. Huh. 
I'm still learning all this stuff. Uh, I think I'll swap them out. Oh, look at his naked legs. It's cute. Let me try giving the robe to you. The robe pants. There you go. Look good on you, bro. Wigman. We don't have any helmets or anything yet, and nobody's going to be using the bows, so... I don't know. Give you another torch. You can bash people if you want. I can give you a bow. And some ammo. You want to shoot some people? You have all the ammo. I'll give you a torch as well. Actually, why don't I give the bow to my main character? That sounds like fun. Give you the bow. So we can switch between weapon sets during fighting. Okay. Armors, items, weapons. Okay. Let's go on to the cells. Oh, we can't even go there anymore. Okay, fine. Cells. Let's go. Wonder what we're going to see. This is the farthest I've been. The game almost crashed on me before. More guards. So much for escaping. Wait. I know how to stop them. Oh. At least for a while. Oh? Let's see. Zerberon can, not, can block the guards. To summon a magic barrier, open his ring menu and select spells protection 1. Fort effects, cast level 2 for a barrier covering 2 hexes. Then select the hexes you want the barrier to appear. The blue hexes show the spell's range. The spell's area of effect is highlighted in orange. I see. So he gets to go first, and my main character still has very low magic, so we're going to have to find out how to recharge the magic. I guess they'll tell us eventually. Uh, yeah. Right click, give me... Now that's fireball. Burst of flame. Damage spells. Oh, it's going to be down here. Protection spells. Here we go. Arcane wall. Fastness of body and balm of healing. So I guess we're going for arcane wall. Level 2. 2 hex for 3 turns. Gotcha. We'll put it right there. Yeah, that'll block him. So is that done? How do we... Well, the game didn't crash. Do it. What the... Do it! <laughs> Cast the damn thing. He is totally not casting it. Oh, you have to choose the starting position the and cells. Then the ending position. Open the cell gotcha. doors. Stand in front of a lever and left click to open a door. Free the prisoners as quickly as possible. Remember to press V to highlight interactive objects on the bottom map. Okay, press V. So there's five prisoners that we have to get out. Okay. So let's run up to here. Press V or click on the door. And you can run up to that could this be one. Turn that one. Okay. And you can't really do much from there. We still have two more turns on the wall. Um, yeah, that's fine. Just... Wait. <laughs> Uh, go do the other lever. Good job, Wigman. You're the best. And you go do this lever. Alright, what happens now? They're exiting their cells, and then what? What are the guards going to do? Nothing? They're just going to walk around. They can't do anything. Okay. Uh, end your turn, and just wait. Why don't you come up to here? End your turn, and go open the last guy's cell. Go, go, go! Open the cell. You can do it. Yeah. Enough of this. Let's get out of here. I guess we have to kill the guards now. No. We just get some free experience, okay. 
So, what's this name? The name Amber Glasses was asking you about. Amber Glasses? That was my friend Lysander. Amongst my people, friends drink together instead of torturing one another. Each to his own? Why did they lock you up? Um, I don't know. I'll tell them. They say I killed someone. A princess. And? Did you? I don't know. And where does this name come in? I don't know. You don't know much, do you? Did you know the princess well? Her father, Count Urias, had taken me into his service. Lysander knew her better. Her and her bed? In a manner of speaking. Count Urias? Count Urias? Never heard of him. I haven't either. He was a hero. A mage who rendered great services to the Horatian Empire. The Empress herself gave him the title of Count. But more than that, he's an explorer. He has a penchant for exotic peoples. Penchant. Forest men. Lizard folk. Sounds more like a villain. Alright, well at least the game's working. That's good. Country estate for Count Urias, five weeks before Eleanor's death. Ooh, we get to see a little flashback. Cool. Ah, take the blasted wooden sword already! Why are we dueling again? I don't know, is it really important? I think you insulted Eleanor. That's not true. We were drunk. All I know is, I challenged you to a duel. Or was it the other way around? <laughs> <laughs> don't be silly. Leave them be, I want to see them fight. To the fifth hit! Uh, okay, yeah, let's duel. All right, to the fifth hit. At last. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Use your environment. You can use the environment in Black Arts to your advantage. For example, you can try to lose your enemies into puddles of mud and make them slip and fall. Elemental, environmental elements like this are everywhere in the game. They are able to help or harm you, so keep your eyes open. Uh, I'm usually bad at noticing this crap. So, this stuff is mud or something so this area here is slippery you can see the little sheen it's a little darker and it has a little sheen next to it uh, so yeah let's go sure Ah, dickwad. Uh, so let's walk around. Oh, you you can't tell him to go around. Well, that's retarded. You hit me. I hit you. You hit me. I hit you. Hit him. I can't hit him. can't I hit him? I have to move and then hit. Nope. Hit him! That was weird. We keep, we keep missing. Ah. And five! There you go. You win. <laughs> With ease! <laughs> Come on, Elena, let's prepare the lamb. That was the dumbest duel ever. Ah, <laughs> oh, how I missed all this. You actually look like a hero. <laughs> I'm impressed. Those years of training really paid off. A hero? That's the last thing I want to be. I was hoping you'd say that. We should do something naughty like we used to. Uh -oh. You know, Father Okadiki has no teeth left at all. We should take advantage of that. There's no hope for you, you know. Have you been to see Urias? He wants to talk to you. Yeah, let the Count wait. I'm enjoying the sun. Oh, wait. One thing at a time, mm -hmm. Aurelia. Who's Aurelia? Now I'm curious. No, enough talk. I'm going back to Nitha. I need to find out what happened. But you don't have to come with me. Why not? I've always wanted to see the bridge of St. Telionel. Well, that explains it. Let's go. Okay, they're going to help me out. Cool. The world map. This is the world map. Here you can determine your party's path. 
Over the course of the story, you will unlock more and more locations you can travel to. A highlighted waypoint is accessible. The arrow 1 indicates your current quest objective. Okay. Travel beneath to find out more about Eleanor's death. Okay. Ah, world map. Cool. I, I like the little drawn-on clouds that they have. It looks kind of like, uh, don't starve. Neat. Looks like we're at the very northern tip of the map right here. Anywho, why don't we call it an episode? Thank you guys for joining me today for a first look at uh, Blackguards. Come back next time. We'll go back into Nisha and see if we can't, I don't know, learn a little more about the story. I'll see you then. Have a good day.